Susanna, hello, hello, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good evening. Good evening, how's everything? Tell me. Excuse me, teacher. How are you today? Ah, okay. <laughs> um, hey, hey, good, good day. How are you? Yes, teacher. It's a uh, uh, the I I work it. I work it um, in in time. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't have meeting. <laughs> Oh, that's good. So you were more relaxed. Yes, yes, Tisha. Uh, um, also, at the, I have, a, I could, a, I, no, you to be free or teach? I was cold. I was cold. I was cold, but it's it the rain, raining uh, today. Okay, so that's fine. What time did you finish working? Uh, it's day, uh, I finish, uh, it's 6, 6 30 p.m. Oh, really? Wow, a little bit late. <laughs> but it's another, other day, uh, other day, uh, I'll finish it later, uh, 8, um, 9 p.m. Okay. Is that? But, but, but for me, it's, it's uh, early. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I understand you. And <laughs> the same happens to me sometimes. Well, Susanna, welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Marta. Hello, Marta. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm good. And you? Uh, a little bit tired. Today oh, has been teacher. a hard day. And um, you flew? What happened? Oh, terrible. That's even worse. Do you feel bad? I got a, a slight headache and I got a running nose and my jaw is farting me a little bit. Oh my God. And I've I'm been so like sorry. that all day long. Yeah, it's the weather, you know. Yeah. That happens. What about you? How's everything? I'm good, teacher. It was a, a very busy day, but everything was okay. I'm ready for the class. A little uh, cool in my house, cold, but cold, cold, cold in my house, but everything was okay. Okay, that's fine. Glad to hear it. Thank you very much and welcome to the class, Marta. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Shanira, hello. Hello, teacher. Who's going? How are you? You're back. Yes, I'm here, teacher. I'm ready for the class. Okay, Janita. Tell me, how's your car? I am. Uh, it's well. Uh, just that I talked with Marta that it's okay. Oh, really? It's That's ready. Cool. It's yeah. ready. Yeah, yeah. That's it's ready. Nice. That's yes. nice. Yeah, because nowadays, well, for some of us, car is a, it's a necessity instead of a luxury. Yeah, well, was not um, cheap. No, this is barato. How do you say caro? Expensive. expensive. Yeah, was was expensive because- It was just some, the bumper, right? Yeah, because someone helped me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well. 
So glad to hear that. And tell me, what about your day? How was it? How did, how did, what did you do today? Well, you know, the same story. Um, I, I saw cases, I have uh, some emails, I, I take uh, some calls. Uh, the same story, you know, I'm working. I take, I take givings to God for the job because it's very important. And I'm a really good teacher. I'm happy I'm here. Okay. This, right. this day, we're, these yes, days are happy, are happy because the weather is really nice. It's for momentos. What do you say for momentos? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's raining and it's uh, good weather. Okay, yeah. Well, a little bit. The problem is that when you are feeling like I'm feeling the changes between sun and cold and then sunny and then cold, that's terrible. Yeah, it's just true, teacher. But here is, how do I say nublado? It's cloudy. Cloudy or foggy? Okay. Or, or no, no uh, cloudy because it's uh, nublado. No, no neblina, sino que nublado de nubes. Okay, oh. cloudy, yeah, cloudy. Yeah. Yes, that, I mean, it's okay. I, I love the weather, like some gray. I don't know why, but yeah, I, I, I love it. I, I understand you. I totally love uh, gray days. Gray days for me are cool. I, I love it, uh, see, when it's raining. I love see the, 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 uh, ventana, the windows the with windows. some gotas, drops, some drops, raindrops, raindrops, raindrops. Uh, when when I see some raindrops in my windows, I love it. I love I love this this weather by this. Yeah, me too. When I was young, I used to love going out for a walk when it was raining. Really? Yeah. It was relaxing for me. My mom all the time um, me regañaba. <laughs> Told me up or scolded me. It scolded me for go out when, when it was raining. Yeah, well, I didn't have that problem because let's see, since I turned Scold. 16, I was free. Hmm. Yeah, and then you didn't have time. Yeah, uh, that's normal. That's happening. Okay, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Janita, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ambar, hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, what about you? I'm just great, just great. Tell me, how was your day? My day was relaxed because I don't have a lot of calls. Mm, that's good and bad, right? Well, um, I think it was a relaxed day, but I hope tomorrow will be better in my sales, but. Let's hope so, let's hope so. So what time did you finish working today? My schedule finish at 4 p.m. Okay, finishes at finishes. My schedule finishes. My schedule finishes at okay. 4 p.m. Nice, so you have time to relax, prepare dinner, have dinner, right? Ex exactly, That's exactly. Cool. So right now you are like, you are just like uh, as soon as the class finishes you can go to rest, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, actually, I I have a I have tired because uh, I, feel. I feel tired because um, after the after my work I I must to make sure 
Yeah, that's normal. All of us have to do some chores at home, right? Yes. Well, Ambar, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. Fernando, how is it going? Hi, teacher. How's everything? Oh, okay. Sorry, my connection is, is terrible. Nah. Uh, uh, just, just fine. I am a little sick. Um, oh, I'm still a little me, sick. Tell but... me about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> Every day I feel, I feel better. Yeah. So lucky but... you. This is, this is, <laughs> Till my second day, feeling terrible, man. It's horrible. <laughs> I am in my around sixth day. Oh, really? Five, five or six day. Yeah. And my problem is that if I go to the doctor, the doctor is going to send me home to rest, but I have so much work to do. Ooh, I cannot take a leave right now. I understand. That's my case. Then. There's so much to do at, at my work that, man, if I miss one day, uh, yeah. it's going to be terrible for me. Yeah, I, I live the, that situation. I understand. Really, I but, understand. But still, to be with the flu, to come down with the flu, man, is terrible. It's uncomfortable, mostly. Uh, yeah, but um, in my case, I only have uh, difficult to to breathe uh, for for a while, and my voice. I don't know. I don't know how it it sounds. A little I bit feel, darker. Yeah, I think it's not so like normal. It doesn't yeah. sound normal. And that's my problem, that my throat hurts, but my job is speaking all day long. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but we are here. Yeah, I mean, got to. It's hey, so Fernando. Thank you very much. Thank you and welcome. Thanks, Thank you, teacher. Jose, Mr. Jose Osorio. Hello, how are you? Hi, Mr. I'm fine, teacher, because everything is okay. Okay. How was your day? A good day? Yes, teacher, it was a good day. I I did finish all my activities and I am with six hits successfully. Oh, nice. Yeah, because yesterday I remember you told me you were pretty tired. Right. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. And uh, you know, today, today it was a today. Day. Today for me is like yesterday was for you. The same for excuse me, teacher. Today for me is like yesterday was for you. Ah, oh, I understand you. You, I remember you said uh, you feel sick. Yeah, I or feel no. sick. Yes, I feel a little bit sick. I'm coming down with the flu. Actually, I came down with the flu, but today I have to go to work in the morning, teach in the afternoon. Then I came home around four. Then I have to drive to drive like for an hour. I came running at five because I had a class from five to six. I had a meeting from six to seven fifty. And now this class. So today are, has been very interesting. Yes, teacher, you are very busy. Hmm. But mostly Wednesdays. Wednesdays are like this. Okay. Uh, yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, how do you say, como hace para sacar fuerzas? <laughs> uh, I, I just how say all my this? bills. I just take a look uh, at all my bills. Solo miro los recibos. 
that's pretty good motivation. <laughs> the depths are your motivation. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good motivation. <laughs> Me too, teacher. <laughs> hey, Jose, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Claudia, hello, Claudia. How are you? Claudia. Oops, perhaps having some troubles. Let's see, I still got time. And where's, where's Maria hello. Alejandra? Maria Alejandra. Oh, there's Claudia. Hello, Claudia, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm just fine. Tell me, how was the exam? Oh, it, it was, Difficult. Really? Difficult because there are, there are a lot of items. Items? Um, you, have, you have to read and analyze the exercise and resolve it. Um, oh, really? Yes, but teacher. And, the time is um how do you say muy poco tiempo short time short time short Before. time teacher yes yes it's oh really well let's hope you do okay let's hope you have done okay at the exam Thank you very much, Claudia, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. You? How do you I'm feel? <laughs> uh, you know, it's the flu. It's uncomfortable, as I was telling, uh, let's see who, Fernando is. No, Jose. It's mostly uncomfortable. What about you? Tell me, what's new? Mm, the usual. I only work, but tomorrow I I have sorry, I have an appointment with a neurologa. Oh, for your migraine, right? Uh huh. For my migraine, and I think that. The solution for my crisis and have a pill in my house. <laughs> yeah, that will help. Uh -huh. will help. And, but and only that, and maybe tomorrow I think I have an exam because I no me lo puedo hacer. Sería I didn't. No, look. I don't. Hold on, hold on, be patient. Okay. <laughs> it's like this. Um, see? Exams or tests, you don't do, you take, okay? Ah, uh, okay. So you say like this, I have not been able to take it. I have not been able to take it, but in really? the morning, I try. Yes. <laughs> You'll try. Yeah, you know. The only problem yes. is that you will get many pills. Yes, I think, but if I, I think if if I don't take it, si no lo tomo, I don't take them. I don't take them. Eh, I don't start my pills the doctor recetó. Uh, prescribed. Prescribed the last week. Oh, yeah, you know, I still got some of my pills for sleeping. Um, I never take them. <laughs> But you try a sleep for 
a su manera o no sé, algo así. Yeah, no, <laughs> the problem is this, with those pills I sleep the appropriate amount of time, like eight hours, but I don't have eight hours. Mm, yes, um, the pills don't, don't, um, no le dejan, no sé cómo sería. Don't let me. Don't no, if, let I take, you. if I take them, I crash. Uh -huh. I hear uh, the other people or other person say that when they take a pill for a sleep is a sensation or is more difficult when you wake up in the morning. Yeah, waking up in the morning is terrible. Sorry, teacher, but... Getting back on I, track is horrible. <laughs> yes, but I hope you se recupere pronto. Get better. Get better, too. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's see. Give me just a second, guys, I'm doing something. Just a second, just a second, just a second. Okay, let's see. Now, 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 now. Today we are going to start right now with the little conversations, but first let me get the attendance, guys. Please, very please, because we need to take it right now. Second, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Sagueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. You, William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chamira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you. Okie dokie, guys. Let's Present teacher. See. Thank you, Mr. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. Well, as I told you, uh, today we are going to do a little bit of practicing of speaking, then we are going to check some of the vocabulary that we have in the manual, the last part of the section. 
of section two. But before that, uh, we are going to get in groups and we are going to make some questions to each other. Now, I will give you the questions right now. First of all, we are going to ask, can you think of some things that annoy you? Do you know what is to annoy? Que le molestan. Can you think of some things that annoy you? Okay, you're going to tell your classmate what things annoy you and why, of, of course, right? So I want to hear some, a little bit of explanation. Like uh, in my case, let's see something that annoys me. Oh, people touching my ears. Wow. It's stressful for me. It's something that I cannot really, really stand. See. Okay, groups are created. Please, you are going to have just four minutes for this activity. Let's jump in. It's going to be fun. Alone. I am alone. No problem. I'll send you to a group, okay? Okay. Uh, by the way, that's really annoyed me to see people throwing trash everywhere. Especially when they are on the bus, and oh. I have seen childs that they are with the, with their their parents, and then they 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 throw the trash. Yeah, that's like Alejandra. She's like that. She throws trash everywhere. <laughs> it, it looks like it looks like if she really likes to litter. Do you know that word, Sylvia? Litter. No. no? Litter is specifically throw trash in the litter. street or on the side of this litter. Mm. Can you say the, the whole sentence? For example, I don't like to see people litter on the streets. It's like that? Yeah. No. And I mean, when people litter parks, pisses me off. Oh. Okay. When people litter, what did you say after that? Parks. Park. Park. Yeah. Hey, there's Francisco here with you, ladies. Yes. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Maria. Hi, Hi Sylvia. Okay. Uh, teacher. Teacher. Hello, guys. What the, For example, hello. What today. Is the question, the question is, 
Tell me something. What are some things that annoy you? ¿Qué cosas me molestan a usted? Lo ponen así de malas. Okay, okay. And for me, uh, I had no tolerance. Yes, yes. tolerance. Tolerance the people. Uh, 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 how do you say que se creen más que los demás? Oh, sto, uh, stock up people. Stock up. Stock up people. Yes, stock yeah. up people. Yeah, so me people, uh, I not to learn. My God, no. I cannot. I cannot tolerate. I'm tolerate. Okay, I cannot tolerate. Exactly. I, I, I meet person. Uh, they really are. Um, how do you say menti mentirosos? Liar. Liars. Liars. Yes. The liars is a bad person, and I I don't. How do you say tolerar? Tolerate. Tolerate. I don't tolerate. Toler them. But uh, how oh, in my case the another thing I I annoying and annoying me is the a slow person. You are going to help us. Yes, tell me. Uh, we were talking with with, with Yanira. Um, what thing we we hate or we we annoy? And um, I I I told to to Yanira that in, in my case. I hate when the people always are making opinion about my job, but they didn't didn't do that. They told me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, try or how do how do you say? Nosy, nosy people. Okay. Really? Yeah, nosy people. Nosy. Nosy. And how do you You're say no? And how do you say no? La so, no, la soporto, teacher. When you're talking about oh. some people, someone. You can say, I don't, I don't stand, and then the people, right? Him, yeah. her, them, yeah. or I can't. I I can't or, stand it. Yeah, I can't stand it. Okay. Like. Like, you know, Lucero, I can't stand Janira. I mean, this is <laughs> She really, really, really get, she gets on my nerves. That means that, man. Yes, people. I hate the people that complain about everything and never give you a solution only complain about everything without one reason. I, I hate teacher, really I hate yeah. it. I understand, I understand with you. the people, I, I, move, I need to move because if I begin to talk with these people, oh Jesus, now it's a problem. Then I prefer to move out of this side because I really hate these people. <laughs> I can manage my, um, uh, I don't know who do you say, uh, how I feel about these people. It's very, very bad for me because I came to manage my emotions, teacher, my emotions. Do you feel furious? Yeah. Yes, yes, I get angry with these people. I, I really need to move. Uh, that happens to me just with stupid people. Yeah. 
Jesus, Jesus, I hate really, really. Uh, I don't know when, yesterday or before yesterday, I stay in some WhatsApp group for this, how do you say Colonia teacher? Neighborhood. Neighborhood, for the neighborhood is so. Programs. In my case, I watch TV, uh, movies or series or listen to music, but for me, uh, the next day is, is, is very important watch uh, a, a little time TV because it's this connection the all day for me and I not think um, before sleep in, in even the all day because okay. because watch is a, a minute in TV is is thinking other other thing. Let's see. Let's see, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. How are you? Sylvia. Hello. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, Sylvia. Tell me, tell me what really is what is something that really annoys you? Uh, there is something that really annoys me when people is traveling on the bus and when people is walking in the street and they threw they litter, litter was the word, right? Yes. They litter trash on the streets. Is that correct? No, they litter the streets. Ah, they litter the streets. Yeah, or when they litter, are- Litter means garbage. Ah, yeah. Or when people are on the bus and they litter on the streets or litter on the rivers or wherever they go. And, and I have seen child with, the, with their parents and they do this. And that's why we have this culture that we, never anyone cares about uh, about the streets or about the, the environment, that really annoys me when I see these kind of things. But you know, we have to work together to have a better planet. Okay, yeah, nice, interesting. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Right. Let's see, yes, Francisco. Sure, I have a question, what is the difference uh, to uh, leader or between, sorry, between leader or trash. Okay, leader is garbage, but leader can also be described as the action of ensuciar. Ah, okay. Ensuciar okay, by throwing garbage. Ensuciar okay. por el hecho de tirar basura. That's ah, okay, teacher. 
Thank you. Thank you, teacher. So if you litter the street, that means that you are throwing garbage to the streets and then, for instance, getting getting it dirty. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Nice question. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jose, tell me what's something that really annoys you. Uh, well, teacher, in my case, it's uh, so many things. Uh, for example, the people who takes advantage of others, uh, those who do not respect the the filas teacher. Cues. Excuse me. Cues. Um, mm, let me see the Q. Ah, Q. Mm -hmm. The people who do not respect the Q and the people who have less than others or where the menos. Yeah, diminish. I am, uh, uh, I know the, the crime or, or the delinquents. Delinquents. Uh, Delinquents, uh -huh. the people who throw garbage on the ground or, or streets. Uh, ah, people who litter. People mm -hmm. who litter. Litter, okay, teacher. Uh, does who mistreat animals or uh, the men who mistreat the women um, who do not value their family? These are things that, that annoy me, teacher. I understand you. Thank you very much. Quite interesting, actually. Thank you. Let's see. Janita, tell me that's something that really annoys you. Hi, teacher. Well, I hate. It's a, I don't know how to say, palabra fuerte, a hard word. <laughs> I hate the people who complain about everything without a reason and never gives you a solution, only complain about everything. I hate these people. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Me too, me too. People who is over demanding. Yes, and never give a solution. It is only thing in another thing for talk and complain. I don't know, yeah. I understand these people. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand them either. Thank you very much, and that's quite interesting. Lucero, what about you? Tell me. Well, perhaps Lucero is having problems right now. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ambar, what about you? Hello, teacher. Well, the things that annoying me is the is walking behind the slow person. Uh, I, actually, I really hate this situation because I am very, very impatient. <laughs> I don't hear you. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, quite interesting, huh, Bart? <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, yeah, I mean, I understand you totally. Yes, for example, you. when I go to uh, a mall, for example, Metro Centro or another place, and <laughs> I walk in behind a slow person, is is stressful. <laughs> okay, yeah. It is sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Ambar. Thank you. Marta, what about you? Tell me, can you think of some things that annoy you? Yes, teacher. I I heard the noise in the morning and way up early. Repeat, please. The people 
may a uh, noise in the morning and I oh. wake up early. <laughs> loud, it's bad loud for people. Me. Loud people. Early in the morning. Yes, teacher. Loud noise. people early loud. in the morning. Is noise noise no is not correct word? You can say noisy people or loud people. Ah, oh, okay, okay, teacher. Loud people is when they speak. They speak out loud. Noisy is in general. Yes, noisy in general. Um, other, other is um, the people near to me. Um, as many times the same activities when people do not fulfill their agreed work. Okay, interesting. Yes, teacher. Okay, guys. Now, you are going to work in small groups of three members in groups. And I got a nice, very, very nice question. Look, I need you as a group to tell me what are, according to you, what are the five most important decisions in a person's life, okay? On your opinion, guys, I need you to get an agreement and tell me what are the five most important decisions in a person's life? Okay, you will have guys uh, 10 minutes actually for this activity. Let me recreate the groups. And if you finish, let me know early so I can cut the exercise. I can cut it short, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, groups are created. Remember, what are the five most important decisions in a person's life? Let's go check on the groups. My, all, all my activities, mister. And very well, okay. and ready for the class. Perfect. And what are the, the five most important decisions in person life? Um, let me think, uh, for me, uh, one the most important and for me is the first uh, uh, the responsible me, decision a... to start or, or create a family in us. Mm -hmm. okay and the second maybe the decision to follow God and uh, the decision to study a career maybe and maybe what do you want okay and what about you uh, william first 
Eh, eh, de, 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 teacher, how do you say una de, una de las, digamos, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir una de las decisiones. One of the decisions. One of the decision. Okay, uh, one of the decision most important is uh, uh, decide for the people uh, uh, with uh, make a, a family independent uh, if uh, if you married or I think that the most important decision. <laughs> Can you repeat the last? When you choose or decide uh, for the correct person and stay in your life, for example, a husband or a boyfriend or like thing. Uh, ah, I think okay. it's an idea. Okay. And yeah, when you share, share your life. Uh -huh, or you spend your time. Okay, what about you, Claudia? Ah, no, Marta, you, 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 <laughs> you, yes, yes, I, it's easy for me. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, 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 when when you decide uh, or choice you career. Uh, choose, 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 choose uh, your career. Um, second is when you decide a uh, married or divorce. Three, when you decide um, have a, a children. Or when you buy a house or when you choose a, 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 a one work. Okay, great. It's easy for me. What about you, Claudia? In my case, when when I decided to to I used to study, and one decision important for me is study English. For me, is very important. In general. I think it's important when you decide marry, when you decide be parent and leave leave home and stay in a company or look other company, divorce and choose friends for life. Well, I think it, this is important. Yes. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se diría o cómo sería lo correcto cuando uno decide irse de casa de los papás? <laughs> to leave, to leave my parents' leave. house. Ah, okay. Thank you. We say when when you get get out parent house is not correct, teacher. I'm sorry. When you get out parent house is not correct. Hmm. Yes, it is. But actually, well, the way we say it is when you leave your parents' house. Um, This is important when you decide uh, the car. <laughs> yes, choice, choice the.
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, hello Wilfredo, how are you? Very, very nice teacher. Excellent. Tell me Wilfredo, tell me please some of the decisions that you consider are like the most important a person can take in his or her life. Okay, the first one for me teacher, it is my health. Because okay. if I have a good health, I can do another thing. And then my moral values. Okay. No, but I'm asking about the, the decisions. Which the decisions ah, okay, do you okay. think are important? Okay. okay. Um, could be the next one could be uh, continue learning because can open different doors in my life. Um, okay. Another another could be always, always um, make fun. Because Have when fun. Make, make fun. Have fun, divertirse. Yes, but I, I, I talking about my job because in my okay. job, I, I, I only um, over there, uh, angry, it is bad for for many things. Okay, and another. Well, uh, no, that's okay. That's okay. We are going to stop here because I want to give the opportunity to some of your classmates. I'm okay. 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 Don't okay. worry, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Shanira, tell me, please, two of the most important decisions a person can take in his or her life, according to your point of view, please. Okay. Three. Um, Take care of my parents, choose a good friend, and maybe this general controversy, uh, not having children. Having or not having children? Not having children. No, 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 but actually the posture must, should be like this, because the decision is having or not having children. Okay, how, how, what is the correct form to say, no tener? Not to have. Ah, oh, okay, not to have, not to have children. Yeah, no, that's not controversial. It's just a very, very personal and private point of view. <laughs> yeah, but, but always when I talk about this, all people ask me, why not? But a lot of my circle friends take the same decision. For example, my brothers and some friends. Yeah, my my parents are, are, are sad. <laughs> it's just a matter of, uh, it depends on your point of view. On the, yes, yeah. And with, uh, with my brother and maybe is the level of study. I don't know. Um, Maybe. Uh, perhaps not necessarily. It's just, as I tell you, it's just that it's a very, very personal point of view. In my cases, I try to be a, as open minded as possible. And I think, I think I could understand why a person should take that decision. Yeah, it's a personal decision, but. Um... Always, because it's not something, it's always, when I talk about this, always uh, someone asks me, why not? Because, uh, like, how do you say the mayoría, teacher? Most of. Most of people think that is part of the circle of the life, but it's not true. This is my personal opinion, I guess. Yeah, I mean, as I tell you, the good thing is this, that as there's people who decide to have babies, there's people who decide not to have babies, as long as the species continue, I don't have a complaint. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the world is crowd of the people. 
Ah, no, I... it's overcrowded. It's overcrowded. Then yeah, I think that's that a problem. More. You know, Janina, that problem is not just because of people having babies. That's the problem created uh, according to the social studies and history. That's a problem created by, but actually the, the evolution in people's uh, uh, technologies, the evolution of medicine, the evolution of the knowledge is the one who has helped people to live longer, to be healthier, and to yeah. be able to, to combat many illnesses, which used to used to keep this the speech, the speech, uh, and I'm talking the humankind uh, in less amounts. Besides that, uh, something else that used to control population was uh, wars. Nowadays, we don't have as many as we used to. And as I told you, the illnesses. Maybe again, COVID is another form to control. No, 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 no. You know, <laughs> the, 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 the Black Plague changes the weather. Yeah, change the weather. Yes. That, was, that one was really, really, I mean, that one was really strong. And I mean, to change this, uh, it's pretty hard. Well, well teacher. I got excited talking to you. I'm sorry, <laughs> I need to move on. Let's see, let's see. Fernando, what about you? What are the five most important decisions in a person's life? According to your point of view, give me two at least, please. Um, finish your career and buy a house. Okay, finish your career and buy in a house. Yeah. Nice, interesting. Okay. What about you, Nicolas? What do you think are important decisions in a personal in a person's life? Give me two, please. Yeah, well, finish the career and uh, break the life. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see, William. What about you? Give me do this. Two decisions that you think you believe are important in a person's life. Okay. Uh, yeah, for me, choose a nice family. Okay. And choose good friends. And then uh, to uh, always respect people. Oh, cool. I like that attitude. Excellent, William. Excellent. Let's see, where's Walter? Walter, what about you? Tell me two, two decisions that you consider are important in a person's life. Okay, so, um, in my case, uh, uh, number one, and heart and God in all here. And okay. Number two, um, I had respect for the other people. Oh, I respect the people's opinions and point of view. Nice. I like okay. that. One. Thank you very uh, much. Another and um, yes, another and yeah, you B, can give me and B, and humbly or humbly, humble, in humble, okay. humble, and be humble in everything. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you very much, Walter. Appreciate it. Okay. Claudia, what about you? Tell me two decisions that you consider important in a person's life. When the person decided the career, the career. Okay. And when the person decide leave his parent house. Okay, nice. Become independent. independent. Yes, teacher. Yeah, that's actually very important. A very important decision. Thank you very much, Claudia. Okay, teacher. Sylvia, what about you? What do you think? Hello, teacher. 
decisions, the most important decisions, right? Yep. Um, I think one of the most important decision is uh, to choose the to choose your university career. Uh, the person that you want to get married and also the decision to have a child. Okay. Excellent. The person you want to get married. Yeah. You want to get married with. Okay, Sylvia? Yeah, you want to you get want married to with. Married with. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, actually, that one is very important. Believe me, it's very, very important. Thank you. Let's see, Susana, what about you? Tell me. Okay, teacher. Um, also, um, the important decision in my life um, is a finish. It's a finish my career too. And okay. and to I change in I change I change a house, but mm -hmm. is a but I took I took a, I took care um my father uh, before uh, the dear dear. Muerte, teacher? Before he passed away. Okay, before he passed away, uh, my mother. Okay, thank you very much. Guys, I need to get the attendance one more time. Let's see. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Listo Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanaela Yalari Sondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Ibe de Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present, teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. Okay, you got a new question for you. If you had to leave your home quickly, what would you take with you? Okay, let's see. You got to think fast. Wilfredo, if you had to leave your home quickly, what would you take with you? I'm sorry, would you repeat? If you had to leave your home quickly, what would you take with you? It's there in the chat, in the Zoom chat. Uh, uh, I, I, I try to don't forget my, my wallet, my cell phone, and my ID. Okay, perfect. Thank you. What about you, Marta? If you had to leave your home quickly, what would you take with you? Teacher, I I always have uh, one bag ready for out emergencies. My, yes. Oh, interesting. 
That's very yes. interesting. And what do you have in your bag, please? Uh, many things. For example, medication, um, paper, I don't know how to say paper. Paper. Toilet paper. Toilet, toilet per paper. Um, a brush. Um, a cloth. Um, sweater. Um, a to uh, toilet teacher. To toy. Towels. Towels. To towels. Um, a paper important for example, a passport. Um, oh, documents. Documents that my house, the identification. Uh, let me see. Make up, obviously. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Make up. <laughs> um, gorra, I, I, I don't I remember. <laughs> Okay, well, we are very Many prepared. things, many things in my bag. That's teacher. quite interesting. Thank you, Marta. Yes, yes, teacher. okay. Maria Alejandra, what about you? If you had to leave your home quickly, what would you take with you? My case. <laughs> and my good, and I think that my cell phone. And only that. Not that much thing, not that many no. things. It's unnecessary. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. What about you, Fernando? You got a family. So tell me what, if you had to leave your home quickly, what would you take with you? My children, teacher. Okay. Both of them. <laughs> no, of course, but I'm talking about material stuff. Um, material. Uh, my wallet and my cell phone. And maybe uh -huh. if, I, if I have a space still, uh, my laptop. Okay, interesting. That's the level of priorities. Thank you. Okay. Ambar, what about you? If you had to leave your home quickly, what would you take with you? My personal documents, money, and my pets. Okay. Excellent. Very precise yes. and concise. I like that. Okay, guys, okay. next question. What do you think of the quality of television programs today, nowadays? Let's see. Nicolás, what do you think of the quality of television programs nowadays? Your microphone, Nicolás, sorry. Thank you. Um, well, I my opinions are about the television the programs is are is is a bad quality. I prefer a, a documentals documentals. Okay, documentaries. Do, documentaries and a. And movies, uh, movies, <clears throat> uh, movies with 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 uh, with histories or uh, an action in 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 close in close. Uh, and for the general, for me, uh, the the movies or the programs are bad quality only okay. the the interest is only money is only a uh, ridic ridiculizer persons oh yeah uh, ridiculizing. ridiculizing persons uh, is 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 my opinion okay yeah well interesting thank you let's see let's see let's see let's see Janira, what about you? What do you think of the quality of television programs today? Well, teacher, uh, in, my, in my personal opinion, 
the quality is so bad because all programs include, I respect that people have, um, I, I don't know how to say, gustos, like- uh, Tastes. Uh, I don't know if this word for, for this, I, I, I talk about the, um, the gays and all programs include uh, uh, gays movies or gays um, stage. Then I don't know, maybe the, the, the child give uh, the children, the children uh, doesn't have a personal uh, opinion. Because okay, children is plural, Jamira. Children don't have children don't have a, a personal opinion because they they see they see teacher or they saw they see they see they see, they see this in all programs. You can see that in the programs for children, for teenagers, for teenagers, teenagers in notice, in news, and all, all, I, I don't know, in Hollywood. <laughs> then I, 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 res I respect that, but maybe um, the, I don't know who is responsible to manage that, but maybe it's necessary to put rules for when and who can see this program. Okay, interesting. Very good collaboration. Now let's see. Okay. Guys, if you look in the Zoom chat, you got four very interesting questions, okay? Where do we most often find fake news? What will happen if our telephones no longer work? What do you think are some good or bad manners? And the number four, is there a place you will never visit again? Okay, now, these four questions are going to be used in an activity that we are going to perform right now. Send them. Okay, I send them to you also to the WhatsApp group so you don't have a problem. I'll divide you in groups. You will have 10 minutes to discuss those questions. Now, you're going to be working in groups of four or five members, okay? That means that you will ask the questions you will ask each person just two questions, okay? So be careful which questions are you asking. Okay, the groups are ready, please jump in. <laughs> what time? 10 a.m. <laughs> nice, you rest a lot. <laughs> you yes. know, you know for for what is vacation is the vacation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello, Jose. Hello, guys. How are you Jose? Excuse me, mister. Can you repeat, you? please? Oh, I'm fine. I'm excellent. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, let's start. Let's start. 
Okay. Uh, you uh, asking to you. Sorry, I, I, me asking to you, Janira. Okay. Where okay. do we most often find fake news? Um, I think the 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 most the, the most the most frequent find uh, news is a social social network. Yeah. For example, Facebook. Facebook uh, is only that fake news. I think, I think the quality has suffered a lot of. Do mm. mm. they don't? Yeah. <laughs> and the years, and Qué dramático. Is uh, my sense <laughs> is very important. Uh, is part and uh, all life uh, and the using and the and my world and house and communication family is very very important for for each people. Oh, the question for each per people. person. Per, per, per person. person. Per person. Okay, in my case, if my telephone. Okay, I'll be no back longer... in a second, guys. Okay, in my case, if my telephone's no longer working, uh, it's difficult for me to uh, wake up early because I lost my other and my schedule and I don't know my entertainment you know okay <clears throat> the third Sorry. question what do you think are some good or bad manners. Manners, what does it mean? Modales. Uh, modales. Modales, okay. Well, in my case, I guess the good manners is important because you you receive the good manners since your childhood. Is the is depending for uh, in what? Uh, what about well, you, good brother? I am going to start with, with the last question. Okay. I I never visit the Cuscatlan when. Play Paz Alianza. It's very, very complicated. Oh. <laughs> um, the first one. Where no, I... when Alianza plays, everything is great. Tira piedra, le dicen. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. The fans is that trouble because they they don't don't understand that it is a place to enjoy a, a good a good show football show but they always the fans never understand it. Um, no, but but Alianza's fans are the most calm ever. Poor angel, <laughs> they are poor angels. <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Nicolas, do you do you support any team, any soccer team? Well, I in, in the the first question, uh, where do we do we find fake news? Most often, I think I think the first is a uh, social social. Social media, media. Know, social media, 
social I media. I think that question uh, uh, is you support a the other, a otro equipo, teacher. Yes, but he is telling us that he is very into the topic, so let's not interrupt. Uh, <laughs> okay. Because Please continue, I think Nicolas. I understand. Okay, the other is a uh, show business. It, the the first for for my and in other okay in in other moments, uh, the, the news are uh, are uh, a fake news. A, a report reporter a reporter a fake news and the number two questions what if your our phones no longer work i think i think a i i if i if i do a specific in in the cell phone that is a, a communicator with my family. And as for things, please, and the bad manners for me is use uh, maybe bad words and do not respect the um, in the right of the other mass, you know, the right of others. Res respect for other all. people's mm -hmm. rights. Other people's okay. rights. Mm -hmm. Do not respect other people's rights. And humor. Yanira, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, I, I forget your. <laughs> yes, I think. Yeah. Who is Marta? Uh, no. <laughs> is, well, is Marta Yanira? Marta Yanira, <laughs> Marta Yanira yeah. Like uh, a Trunks and Goku. Uh, fusion. Ah, fusion. <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, teacher? Who is, who is Goku <laughs> and Trunks? I am that old. She tengo a long word. I can remember that. Okay, okay. Well, I guess that the bad manner is um, don't respect the opinion of others, um, don't respect uh, older people, and they, I don't know who to say, uh, common, common teacher. The uh -huh, common yeah. in this day is the people stay in in their in your cell phone and in theirs in theirs in their cell phone and talking with with another. For me, this is a a, a really bad manners. What about you, Francisco? What do you think? Well, um... I, I agree with you. For me, it's a, a bad manner uh, uh, talking about other people and, and that people use the cell phone. Um, other bad manner for, for me is when the people uh, uh, leader, leader, leader the, the street or um, Leader, leader, uh, in the bus. <laughs>
You too. Yes, William. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, tell me. Tell me, teacher. What do you think are good manners? What is to have good manners for you? Oh, when I arrive from another, uh, some places, you do, you say good evening, good morning, or you give regards on some people. It is good when the people answer you, but when the okay. people doesn't, don't have good manners only, uh, don't, don't answer. When they answer back to you. Okay. Answer okay, back to you. me. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Welcome. Let's see, Ambar. Tell me, Ambar, what would happen if our telephones no longer worked? What do you think it will happen? Well, uh, I I guess the my telephone don't work. Um, <laughs> Sorry, this question, I I don't, I don't know this. You cannot imagine a world without your cell phone. No. Okay, I understand you, I understand you. Now then tell me, uh, is there a place you will never visit again, Amber? Yes, I never visited again the restaurant Sombrero Azul because it's very expensive. Okay, thank you. Interesting. Sombrero Azul still exists. Is Santa Tecla, yes. Yeah, I know, I know. I used to go dancing there. Man, a long while ago. How do you say ellos cobran el... Creo que la entrada. Yeah, they charge cover. Yes, they have cover y the cover is not consumable. Consumable, yeah. how do you say? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just cover. It's just for the right to get in. Okay, thank you very much, Amber. Shanira, thank what you. about you? Tell me, mm -hmm. I got a question for you. What will happen if our telephones no longer work? Jesus, teacher. I talk with my partners. I feel uh, sick, bad, really bad. Yeah. Because my life is around my cell phone. I have there my schedule, my credit, my uh, identification, identification, how do you IDs, say? ID. My, my IDs, my picture, I have all there. For example, for my, I use for my job because I use two steps for, for verification uh, to VPN. Then I, I use for, for all of that. <laughs> Then I feel really bad and sick if this oh, happens. Really? <laughs> yes, teacher. I am a dependent of my cell phone. I am addict. Okay, yeah, I, under I could understand you. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I feel I am too. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who's next. Claudia. Claudia. I think Claudia is having problems. Let's see. Marta, I got a question for you, Marta. 
Let me check. Okay, Marta. Well, actually, I got two questions for you. Tell me, what do you think are bad manners? Bad manner for me is the children or teenager is not respected people. And other... It's not respectful. Respect. Other... Respectful. Bad. Respectful. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay. Other bad is the no pay attention in conversation. Uh, the oh, attention okay. is, is the in your in your phone, for example. Okay, and it's yeah, sure. Now tell me what will happen if our telephones no longer work. I use I, I use my computer or, or tablet. <laughs> okay. For everything? <laughs> Now, teacher, the mobile is, is the most important, the phone, but it's not phone, it's any, any other? For the other for the communication. Liar. But it's not end war. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Yes. yes for for so Janita, it's yes. I yeah, know. It's just that <laughs> it's just that you, let's see, Nicolas and me, we belong from an age when there were not cell phones. So yes. We yes. remember we remember those days, right? Yes, I remember. Okay, thank I you. Jose. <laughs> Jose, I got a question for you, Jose. Okay, tell me, teacher. Tell me, where do we most often find fake news? Uh, in my opinion, uh, I believe in, that in, in social networks, because each person publishes what they want, and it can go viral. Viral? Viral. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now tell me, is there a place you will never visit again? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I never visit again the Cerro El Pital. Why not? Uh, because it was a, a lot of effort to get there and it did not... <laughs> It seemed like more shop there, teacher. Oh, it did not fulfill your expectations. Uh -huh, it was little what could be explored and very dangerous to go to the Mirador. Oh, really? Yes, uh, someone could die, teacher, trying to pass to the other side. Yeah, you know, but there's people who enjoy that. <laughs> yes, I know it. Yeah, actually, here in the group, we have a couple of classmates who love walking. Yes, it, that experience is, is it's cool, teacher. But up and, and no cumplió mis expectativas. My expectativas are not my expectativas or my okay. expectations. Yeah. My expectation yeah. that I understand you. I understand you. That happens with some places. Thank you very much. Daniel. Hello, Damien. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm just great, just great. Tell me, Damien. Uh, is there a place you will never visit again? Um No, I believe there is no place that I will never go again. And you? And me? Let's see. Is there a place that I wouldn't visit again? Hmm. A couple of restaurants. Yeah. A couple of restaurants. Mostly because of the 
the food. Yeah, I'm very delicate with that. Now tell me, what will happen if our telephones no longer work? What do you think will happen? Do you think it will affect society in a big scale? But not working in what way? For example, imagine uh, that tomorrow, tomorrow morning you wake up and you find out that there's no cell phones. And you go out on the street and you find that nobody can use cell phones. And you, you turn on your computer, get into the web and find out that cell phones all over the world are not working no more. Yeah, it, I believe it will be, it will affect a lot of the uh, population. Why? Are we that dependent on, on cell phones? Yeah. For example, the day that uh, WhatsApp and Facebook fell off, it's the way to say that. Oh, yeah. I remember a couple of days ago, right? Yeah. We have a lot of problems. Uh, we can communicate with we some couldn't. clients. We couldn't communicate with some clients. We, at, at the time, we were... Uh, negotiating with some providers providers uh, that we have only communication for Facebook. I don't have the cell phones from there. So that was a problem. And oh, yeah. with the foreman that were at the project, the same, for example, I can make calls, but uh, WhatsApp is really important because they can send us picture. They can, we can make video calls. So, for example, he can explain me uh, exactly to showing me, for example, that way and that, and that uh, affect us a lot. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much, Danny. Nathanael, Nathanael, you've been very quiet tonight. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Nathanael, is there a place you will never visit again? Um, probably a couple of restaurants only, and and sometimes uh, when when I go out, uh, when I stay in, in in Mexico City, I I I will I went to uh, some places. A little dangerous, but <laughs> I I go out. Uh, Where did you go, my friend? Uh, <laughs> the DF? You're talking about no, the DF? A, a, a couple of years. Uh, okay, two, yeah, but what part of Mexico did you wear? Did you go? Um, Which in state? Mexico, Mexico City. Mexico City. Okay, yeah, what uh, part of Mexico City? Needles for uh, Zona Rosa, Pink Offs. Think of some, I don't know. Uh, when oh, I used, yeah, next to, next to they, Tepito. Yeah, <laughs> next to yeah. Tepito, you were right. Um, no, it's it's not not near. Uh, from on there, it's a uh, it's a little far, but uh, uh, Tepito is another place is dangerous in, in Mexico City. Well, not that much, not that much. It depends on who you know. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, the same I, as in El Salvador, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I went to some and uh, I, I, you, you don't, you should not go to, to, to this place because it's dangerous, so uh, I would come back. Okay, yeah, well, you know, everywhere you can find that. If you want to visit a nice place in Mexico, let's say I will recommend you um, Quintana Roo. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's uh, some places in Mexico City, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, um, the the 
the um, this historical center is uh, is uh, is amazing. Yeah, the touristic places are good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Nathanael. And now I got a, another question for you. Tell me, what do you think are good manners? Um, it's uh, like um, uh, the 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 people um, has uh, manners uh, about uh, enter with uh, some friends, like uh, when respect to another people when to um, help to all all person and 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 around the in 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 society um, when you um, 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 enter in in a meeting uh, at time because okay no, punctuality yeah punctuality well, is for you is considered okay. a good manner thank you very much okay. appreciate it okay. let's see let's see let's see let's see fernando hi teacher tell me is there a place you would never visit again uh really no teacher i think i think since we did a activity in, in the group and I cannot find a, a place. I have bad experience, but it's not it's not um, enough to, to that I decide never visit again. Okay. So you don't need to take that uh, drastic decision. Yes, correct. Okay, perfect. Nicolas, tell me. Yes, teacher. Uh, Sorry. What will happen if our telephones no longer work? Well, I think I I, I think uh, I will have no problem uh, with or mm, whatsoever. I, whatsoever. Whatsoever. Whatsoever, uh, whatsoever, whatsoever, uh, with in, in and I don't telephone for me. I think will no no problem. Uh, I I will sentiría. I will feel. I will feel liberty. At liberty. At liberty. Okay, That's all. perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this. <laughs> now, let's see. Let's see. Walter, what about you, Walter? I got a question for you. Hello, teacher. Tell me. Okay, tell me, Walter, is there a place you would never visit again? Okay. Uh, repeat, please. Is there a place you will never visit again? Hay un lugar que no visitaría de nuevo? Oh my God! No, teacher. I know. You don't have that much of problem. No, okay. Yes. Perfect. Oh, that's okay. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Sylvia. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Sylvia. Uh, what will happen if our telephones no longer work? What will happen in your life? Uh, I would be crazy <laughs> because okay, I would... please elaborate. <laughs> yeah, because I would always be late for work because of my alarm. 
I wouldn't be able to communicate immediately with my with my boss, with my clients, and with my coworkers, with my family. And in my free time, I would be I would be uh, bored. I would be bored, right? And I wouldn't be able to to watch some um, news or to work from home because I work with my cell phone. Sometimes when I'm yeah. not at, at work, I have to work from my cell phone. Yeah, that would happen. It would be very difficult for me to get used well, to use yeah. myself. Interesting. Nice point of view, actually. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's see. What about you, Jose? What do you think? What will happen to your life if telephones no longer work? Jose? Hi, teacher. Excuse me. <laughs> no problem. Tell, Tell me, me what will happen in your life if telephones no longer work. Oh, in my life, if the telephone. Let me think. Possibly it will uh, cause us to get used, used to it. Como le digo? Me costaría acostumbrarme. Okay. Uh, because. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Like this. Look. Um, it will take long to get used to it. Oh, uh, it will take long to get used to it. And uh, yes, this is because there are. Uh, application uh, that helps to to be to do all the activities uh, fast and simplifying uh, simplifying yes. our lives yeah mm -hmm. of understand you totally thank you very much mister okay this Okay, guys, please, I need to get attendance. I'm Barbier Faro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Claudia Lizet Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga. Roxana Ivet Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Shemani Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Okay, guys, time's over. Just remember, please, tonight is the day for the midterm exam. Please, I will be checking later on tonight. So if you haven't finished, please do it. And if you haven't finished section one and two, hurry up. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.
to nine, sir. Oh my gosh, Sylvia, you were supposed to stay here tonight with me. What happened? Again, left alone. That's not good. Let's move for a second, just for a second. Let's see.
Okay, we'll stay here just for a couple of more minutes. Well, time's up. See you tomorrow.